Do you struggle mentally in any tennis match? In this video, I'll give you one of the reasons I think why you're not mentally tough. When I was young, my father often took me to a park in San Francisco to coach and play tennis with me. After our tennis session was done, he would go play a doubles match with the other players that were in the park. While he was playing, I had to wait, with not much to do. Remember, this was a time where there were no smartphones, tablets, or internet to keep me preoccupied like kids these days. This was actually a time before I had a Nintendo Game Boy. I didn't have much to do other than to walk around the park, go on the playground slides, or hit tennis balls on the wall. Well, what I did most of the time was play on the wall. The wall. It may be the best tool in tennis to improve your mental toughness. Why? Because playing the wall can be so boring. It's probably the most monotonous and repetitive activity you can do. What same person loves to play on the wall? The boredom that the wall imposed really forced me to find a way to entertain myself. As I hit on the wall as a kid, I started playing simple games in my head. For example, I would start off with games like hitting a spot on the wall or trying to maintain a rally as long as I can. This got boring quickly, so I then proceeded to make up an opponent or multiple opponents in my head. In other words, I would be myself in one shot, then pretend to be my opponent in the next shot. It got to a point where I took on five to six different personalities playing on that wall. I would often imagine these David versus Goliath storylines where I pretended to be a complete underdog going for my first Wimbledon and my opponent was going for his 10th. Very often, I would imagine highly pressurized moments where I would be down break point or match point and I would need to hit certain spots on the wall to keep the match going. Of course, in my head, there is a crowd watching loudly and they would cheer or jeer me as they pleased. I've probably made up hundreds of different wild match scenarios in my head playing on that wall. And of course, I would win them all. I made it fun. One time, while I was playing on the wall, a passerby asked me a stunning question. He asked, who's winning? Well, I was completely dumbfounded. I thought he somehow got inside my head. I'll never forget it because it felt like my tennis world in my head suddenly got exposed to the public and I didn't know if I was talking to myself this whole time or he was an actual mind reader. Looking back, I must have been super intense on the wall that day or maybe he was a mind reader. I think to be mentally tough, it starts with your imagination. The feelings in those imagined moments I played on the wall weren't so dissimilar from the feelings I had when playing in actual junior or adult tennis tournaments. In fact, because of those wild situations that I made up in my head as a kid, the break points, set points, and crucial points that I played in real tournaments became more manageable and honestly much more fun. I didn't win every crucial point, but I knew regardless of the outcome, I was going to enjoy that moment. When practicing yourself, try doing mental reps. Mental reps are simply a way of imagining a situation in tennis, for example, being down break point or up match point, and practicing the winning shot you intend to hit in that situation. The situation can be anything. It doesn't have to be based in reality. You can imagine playing in the US Open against a made-up nemesis. You can imagine whatever you want. It's your moment, so enjoy it. Embrace it. The goal is simply to use your imagination in a positive way and bring it to life in a tennis match. I'm Coach Adrian, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This here is for Match Point.